Hello everyone. Today we'll take a look at the best streaming mics in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these microphones, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which mic are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Rode NT-USB Mini – Best Small Microphone The affordable Rode NT-USB Mini microphone doesn't boast the biggest feature set, but it delivers a clear, crisp, DSP-free signal in an easy-to-use design. Measuring 5.6x2.1x1.8 inches with a circular base that has a diameter of 3.5 inches, the Black NT-USB Mini is a relatively compact USB microphone. On its front panel, there's a headphone volume knob as well as two LEDs that tell you when the mic is powered via USB or when you're in zero latency monitoring mode. Pressing the volume knob turns zero latency mode on or off. The other thing is that it picks up plenty of tabletop rumble and I desperately wanted the mic to have a low-cut filter. The NT-USB Mini delivers a depth of 24 bits and a 48kHz sample rate. It's compatible with Mac OS 10.12 and Windows 10. The 1.2-pound withstand mic can swivel to meet almost any recording angle and rests upon its desktop stand thanks to a clever magnetic design that allows the mic to simply snap into place. Aside from this, and bearing in mind the pretty good plosive handling, it's actually ideal for speech, as you'd hope. Rode NT-USB Mini is a great-sounding, easy-to-handle USB microphone whose software solves a problem common for veteran podcasters. Overall, NT-USB Mini is an excellent compact USB mic for podcasting and beyond that I'm sure will find many fans. Number 4. HyperX SoloCast – Best for the Money The new HyperX SoloCast microphone is all about delivering higher fidelity voice recording for gamers on a budget, and it's not the only one because when buying hardware, cost is always going to be a driving factor for most people. If you have a limited budget, you always have to think about what sort of features and creature comforts you can do without while still getting the job done. When comparing the HyperX SoloCast and Quadcast S, the sound quality is scarily similar when using cardioid mode across both. Both mics have a 20Hz to 20kHz frequency response and a 16-bit sample rate, so the quality of sound is there if that's your chief concern. Unlike its namesake, the SoloCast has just the single cardioid polar pattern as opposed to the four that's offered on the Quadcast mics. The features HyperX has sacrificed to the audio gods are a headphone jack, gain control, shock mount, internal pop filter, and let's not forget that fun-looking RGB lighting. The USB Type-C connection makes for easy plug-and-play along with playing nicely on Macs and even a PlayStation 4, in case you do, you're streaming directly to Twitch from the console. As far as sound quality is concerned, you usually get what you pay for, but the HyperX SoloCast is hoping to prove that a microphone that's cheaper in price doesn't have to mean cheap sound. Number 3. Blue Yeti X – Best Plug and Play Mic The Blue Yeti X microphone is a worthy update to the lineup with four mic patterns to meet a variety of recording needs. Available in a black and silver design, the Yeti X is a four-capsule condenser side address mic that ships with a sturdy built-in desktop stand. With a stand connected, it measures roughly 11.4 by 4.3 by 4.8 inches and weighs 2.8 pounds. The mic can swivel to be angled upward while in the stand, and it can be removed and used with a standard mic stand as well. The Yeti X can record up to 48 kHz at 24-bit audio with a frequency range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz. This frequency range also applies to the internal headphone amp. The 3.5mm headphone jack not only allows you to directly monitor your audio levels, but also lets you hear everything going on from your PC. It sports a sleek design outfitted with colourful and customisable LEDs. On the inside, you have a solid 4-capsule condenser array backed by great audio software. However, all of that is a little pricey, especially for streamers and podcasters who are just starting out. If the Blue Yeti X is on your radar, it's probably safe to assume that you're looking for a step up from your Snowball, gaming headset mic or cheap USB mic. In that light, you'll be happy with the Yeti X. Number 2. Elgato Wave 3 – Best Runner-Up Elgato has been around for years. Its affordable capture cards have made it one of the most important brands in live streaming. However, up until now, the company's products have largely been confined to interfaces like stream decks and game capture devices. 
With the Elgato Wave 3 microphone, that's about to change. Aimed at the same needs as something like a Blue Yeti X, this is a mic for the podcaster, Twitch streamer, and online caller. The Wave 3 is a condenser mic with a black eggshell-like finish and a built-in stand with a circular weighted base. The mic and stand measure approximately 8 inches tall and 3.5 inches wide for the mic, while the base is a little over 4 inches in diameter. An included adapter allows you to disconnect the mic from the base and screw it into a standard mic stand. You'll pick up voices quite well from about 2 feet away, so you can place the mic in a comfortable desk location without getting right up on it. But this isn't the right gear for your home music production studio. The Elgato Wave 3 is an excellent USB microphone. For the price, you get a device that provides excellent sound whether you're live streaming or recording. The proprietary software is easy to use and allows you to blend multiple audio sources, including mics, without a physical mixer. Number 1. Shaw MV7 – Best Overall Shaw has been providing pro-grade microphones for an age, and the MV7 podcast microphone is its attempt to bring its high-end sound to content creators. The Shaw MV7 is sure to be adored by professional podcasters, streamers, and DIY musicians alike. It houses a headphone jack alongside an XLR and micro USB input, which can all be used simultaneously. The USB Type B micro XLR connection will be the big draw for a lot of folks. It gives you the best of both worlds by providing the adaptability of XLR, especially if you use professional audio interfaces, and the versatility of Type B micro inputs for recording on the go with laptops and mobile devices. One of the coolest things about the Shure MV7 microphone is that you can use the XLR and USB outputs at the same time. This isn't just redundancy for redundancy's sake, it lets you save both a low-resolution file for reference over USB and a high-resolution file for post-production over the XLR connection. The MV7 microphone is for content creators who want to bring up their production values to pro-grade levels but don't want to or can't spend that pro-grade money. This is the reason why XLR microphones are hard to recommend for streaming, podcasting, and gaming. Definitely one of the best streaming mics in 2021. My Guide Sound Quality There are many types of microphones to choose from, but you're better off choosing either a dynamic or condenser microphone, much like the microphones used for podcasting, that's specifically designed to pick up the intricacies of a person's speaking voice and does so without delays. It's also ideal to choose one with a tight bi-directional or figure eight or cardioid pattern. Both effectively cancel out background noise from the sides, including keyboard and mouse clicks. Form factor and audio interface. If you need a microphone for any real regular use, you should consider things like audio interfaces and microphone styles. For audio interfaces, you usually have two options, analog and USB. Analog mics plug directly into your PC's 3.5mm audio input jack. Analog audio ports give you a ton of flexibility since you can always add a preamp or more audio processing gear in between the microphone and your PC. USB microphones plug in via USB and, depending on the model, can be complicated and include their own preamps and audio processors. Microphone Polar Patterns Different microphones are designed and engineered to pick up sound in a different way than the others to better suit different applications. The most popular ones are cardioid pattern mics. These mics capture mainly the front with reduced responsiveness to the sides, and these are very popular. Next up, you have the omnidirectional mics, which are the optimal choice when you want to capture the full sound of the room you're situated in, meaning you can use it for recording several acoustics and vocals at once. Multi-pattern mics are also very popular and are excellent choices for users that require more versatility. Let's say you sometimes might need a cardioid mic and sometimes an omnidirectional mic. If that's the case, multi-pattern mics are the best.